This is Anthony Priscilla. We're working some statistics today and we're uh, looking at a binomial distribution that if we were using a handheld calculator, uh, the numbers are just going to get too big for us to be able to uh, uh, plug them in there. We would need to use a normal distribution to approximate it. But I want to illustrate stack crunch today. And using StatCrunch's binomial feature, we should be able to punch it in and get this answer without having to approximate using the binomial. So a scientist conducted a, an experiment using green pods and yellow pods. He crossed peas in such a way that 25% of the 560 peas were expected to have yellow pods. So it tells you that n times p is 140. Q would be 0.75, so n times Q is certainly bigger than 140, which means uh, we, could, we could use a, bi a normal distribution to approximate this. But we're going to use binomial. Instead of getting 140 Ps, he obtained 144. So let's find the probability that among the uh, 560 uh, offspring Ps, exactly 144 have yellow. So we want to know the probability that x is 144. And I'm going to do that using stack crunch. And I'm going to use the binomial feature rather than normal to approximate it. This works really nice. Here are n. Here, let me come over here and punch these in. n is 560. P is 0.25. We want to know the probability that X, use the pull down menu, equals, what is that, 144? 0 0.0357. 0 let me go back to the problem and punch that in. 0.0357. Then it asks, okay, what's the probability that at least 144 have yellow pods? Well, all that we have to do to change that is just make a slight modification. At least would mean 144 more. So we'll say greater than or equal to 144. 0 0.03, no, 0 0.3637. 0.3637. Come back to the problem and punch in 0.3637. Now, which one of these is more useful in determining if the claimed rate is incorrect? Well, that would be the 144 or more, the part B, and is there strong evidence to suggest that 0.25 is incorrect? Well, the answer to B is not, a, uh, five, it's not less than 5%. It's a pretty good amount. So is there strong evidence? No. If B had been less smaller than 5%, then okay, there would be strong evidence. So this was Anthony Priscilla just doing some binomials with stack crunch.